So we're going to be playing with the new reworked Sanguine Blade, which it's not really reworked. They just kind of deleted Sanguine Blade. And I'm not really sure why the item did have potential. I feel like they should have made it the same concept as a new item, Holebreaker. With Sanguine Blade, they made it so you lose your stat bonuses if there's more than one enemy nearby. So like if you get ganked, for example, you lose the stat bonuses, which that's when you want it to be stronger. You want to be able to turn those 2v1s. And I feel like that makes it more exciting rather than just having it be an item that makes it more powerful when you have an ally ganking for you or you're 1v1ing. So this game, this guy told me to ban Katarina and Viego. I banned Viego. Okay, this game, <laughs> why do I go play? Like, it's just such a waste. Dude, if you think about it, there's a potential to never play a game. Evidently, this guy's been sitting in more dodges than I have because he knows the enemy champion list. No one even bans any of the champs that he says to ban. It's actually insane, though, that you can just dodge a game if you don't like the enemy lineup or your lineup. Like, what? I think I might just skip all the attempts at trying to get a whole breaker game today because I was not able to build it and the game quality was just, well, not super amazing. I guess I just wasn't playing that good too. So Ribbon's AFK, so this game will not be played, which is a bit unfortunate, I guess. Just looking forward to a quirky game. I think I won that. Just on the fact that he's using like the regular pots. I'm using corrupting. Oh my god, he came back and he's teleporting back top. That's really sad. Like part of me is kinda happy because I want to play a quirky game, but part of me is like he's gonna lose lane, so. We'd probably lose. That being said, maybe I'll be able to roam to him and just constantly push this Lux up all game. And he's dead already. Very nice. Or we could try. Oh, yeah, Lux coming there. Lux is going to be messing that up, I think. I could TP top. It's not bad. I got two for whatever. I'm TP net. Please. Need this. Need that money, I really do. Pay my bills. Do you like it? Okay. Hey Warwick, I want to be verbally abused. That's gonna make me stay in the game. Yes. Like, what did you expect was gonna happen when you verbally abuse? Oh yeah, yeah. Just report the quirky. We can totally win. It's totally winnable. Go in. Where's my backup? Hello? It's my YouTube. This guy keeps spamming. I don't know, man. What could it possibly be? We got the verbally abuser Warwick and we got the mentally confused Kaisa. So I lost three games in a row evidently according to this guy. I think the enemy should know too actually because me knowing is not enough I think. Like we need to get everyone in on this. The top leader <laughs> sucks. I'm an inter. I feel like that's like some type of term that they would use. Some type of negative term though to describe like a... <laughs> group the reason why i don't care about the games like that is like i'm confident that i'll win a game if it's a normal situation that's why i don't care about just running down but i'm not really sure why they gave the york that buff like it was already hard to lane him as a lot of champions it wasn't weak like there was no reason to give him a random buff like that it'd be fine too if like they buffed other champions but they just gave him a flat buff and they never really touch other champions if they did more things with other champions like i think every champion should be kind of oh my god he has mana for that what the heck just happened? That thing just flew to freaking Narnia. If they actually did stuff to other champions though, it wouldn't be such a big deal when they do a buff to a champion. But yeah, so essentially if he just hits his E, then the graves will spawn ghouls and then they'll attack you for quite a bit of damage if you can't escape from them. You don't have your escape up. So Lee was going pretty well, like you can see Yorick's completely out of mana, till so they pulled this three man gank top, like if it was just two, I would've been fine. Hello. Oh. Okay, flash. After that though, I just lost pressure on the lane. It was kind of up to my team to carry me, which they did. Our Jinx was apparently a master smurf. Nice. Probably the only noteworthy play of this game. So today's games just feel like they've been exceptionally brutal and with the new hole breaker item I feel like you have to be ahead in order to actually buy the item. If you're behind you're never gonna be split pushing. Well at least I don't usually don't split push from behind. But yeah this guy picked Viego in the NAR I think. Not play that well, I feel. This grave's just owning. But yeah, so I have an item advantage against the guy. I will probably get ganked by the Yi. I just gotta watch out for that. But I should be okay here. This might be the game that we need to snowball to get the a new item.
Oh yeah, this is it. I'm really fed though, and I could actually buy it right now if I wanted to at 8 minutes, which that'd be a very good meme. I do need to clear this wave out though. I could keep pressuring him too, but I want to get the item fast. I mean he did rift too, so he was top. Good time to back, and I got boots as well, very nice. We are ready to board. We have increased resistances and tower damage. We get 20 bonus armor and MR, and 20% increased damage to towers. Not sure how efficient this item is in terms of stats. I feel like if there's any champ to get it on, it'd be Gnar. Because he makes use of damage, the health, regen. All those are really good on Gnar. It'd be cool if it gave you the bonuses only if you were near enemy towers. Now that would be a hype item, and it'd give you like 10 more. But I would never do that though, because they just don't have the creativity, man. Anyone that actually has like a creative vision, I feel like has been squashed out. I don't really know how items get approved or whatever, but I feel like anyone with a creative vision just, they just aren't really, I don't know. Maybe it's just a thing of like too many cooks in the kitchen type of deal. Cause I know for example with Dota, there was just Ice Frog for a long time managing it and it was very interesting like there was always new stuff happening and it was just a one-man development team there's like a new hero added uh, dude i don't really remember because i was really young when i played dota on warcraft 3 but i want to say there was a new hero added like every couple weeks plus there was balance changes always going down it's like more than riot games a i don't want to say how much money they make because i don't want to mess it up i think it's like 500 million a year and i feel like they're doing worse of a job than a one-man ice frog was doing with dota you popped herald top can we 2v1 with the new item this is perfect actually i have armor they're not going to try oh yeah that's what's up Flash to pull you into the tower. Who is he's fed, you guys. Just pretend he's fed. Pretend the game score is 6-10. Enemy has 10 kills. We have six. I do actually really like this build though against this composition. I'm not sure about the dead mans that I'm rushing into. Especially against Yi, like maybe a randoms would be better. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be the final play for Viego, I think. Probably the final play I'll show. Viego decided to split push, but little did he know. I'm a split pushing boarding party Nar. Yeah, you can't do that. I didn't think you would be able to. He's able to ult over the wall, but jump just does not have the range. Well, he doesn't want to mess with me. The item is OP. You heard it here. Hole breaker is OP. It's perfect. We're getting another split push situation. How big's demolish a proc? Very big. A64. Very nice. Team was doing drag. And being that I have the hole breaker item, we will get a great split push off. Draka did not know what she was walking into. I broke her hole. Weak mental team. Yeah, why did they FF? I don't understand. <laughs> he just links the guy's profile who's been crying. 47 win rate, gold four. That's all he does. He doesn't even say anything. He just leaves. Is he talking to himself? Or do I have someone muted? The guy who linked the OP.GG left, by the way. 